Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Thank you so much for coming. We've got a great group here. I'm Merit Jane O'Dean of the School of International and Public Affairs, and this is one of my favorite um, annual uh, named lectures, our, and this year our 2020 George Ball uh, lecture. Um, this is one of our most distinguished uh, lectures. It's named after, of course, George Ball, who I hope everyone knows, who was Under Secretary of State in the Kennedy and Johnson administration, and known uh, famously for his early descent of America's involvement in Vietnam. He was a reasoned voice of opposition and um, really uh, influential, uh, especially over time. He later served uh, as U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. And the Ball Lecture, uh, which bears his name, was established in 2009 here at SEPA to support an adjunct faculty member who has a, demonstrated a, a real record of thoughtful and innovative contributions to uh, international matters and is usually a senior uh, statesman um, or leader uh, who speaks truth as he sees it or she sees it in the spirit of George Ball uh, with deep knowledge uh, and independent thinking. And we've been very fortunate uh, this semester to have with us as our spring 2020 Ball professor, His Excellency Tumas Elvis. Um, as many of you know, um, he has led a remarkable life uh, with significant influence. Um, uh, I'll just mention a few things. Uh, he was born uh, to an Estonian refugee family living in Sweden in the 1950s who fled uh, the Soviet invasion of their home country, he came to the United States to be educated, uh, which uh, he did right here at Columbia. Uh, graduating from the college, if you don't mind, I'll say in 1976. And then he received a master's in psychology from the University of Pennsylvania. He then embarked on a career as a diplomat uh, and as a journalist, working initially for Radio Free Europe uh, for a time. He became leader of the Social Democratic Party in the 1990s and entered government service as Estonian ambassador to the United States, then foreign minister, uh, for two different periods, uh, and later was a member of the European Parliament. I think he's known for many achievements as president of Estonia, but uh, one of those, uh, uh, notably, is leading the digital transformation of the Estonian government and making Estonia a center of focus and expertise around cybersecurity. He's been at the forefront of thinking and understanding about how technology can enhance the operation of government and provide important public services, whether it's online voting or filing taxes or getting medicines or having more communication with the population. And Estonia has created a robust digital ID for its citizens um, and uh, successfully introduced the concept of e-residency, which a number of other jurisdictions have um, introduced. Of course, Estonia also lives in a dangerous neighborhood, and he has been thinking a lot and making contributions to thinking around uh, the vulnerabilities that exist for democratic governance, uh, a central concern for many countries, and advising um, uh, jurisdictions around the world. We're very grateful to have him with us at SEPA this spring. Um, and this builds on our work at SEPA around technology and public policy, whether cybersecurity, digital uh, economy, or areas where our own students are increasingly trying to find uh, digital tools to enhance um, their desire to be both entrepreneurial and public policy effective. So without further delay, let me uh, ask you to join me in welcoming President Ilves to give the 2020 Ball Lecture. Thank you.